Jesus said, Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labour or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. We live in anxious times. We face threats, some vague, others more pressing. Yet it's not wise to worry. Worry achieves nothing positive and it's bad for our health. So Jesus invites us to view our lives from a broader perspective. One reason we worry is we focus on immediate concerns. Jesus says, look at the bigger picture. If God's your father in heaven, you can trust God to help you thrive. Jesus reminds us how God provides for plants and animals in the natural world. Birds seem busy all day getting food, yet it's God who stocks their larder. The God who cares for sparrows and robins will certainly care for you and I. Worry doesn't help. It's better to do what we can, accept we have limitations, and trust in the care of our Father in heaven. Jesus also invites us to get perspective on what our life's about. Work, money, health, holidays, all have their place. God knows we need food and clothes. Yet qualities like goodness, fairness, kindness matter too. Where people fail to pursue moral and spiritual values, life gets worse. So making God's concern for compassion and justice our own is important. For a start, it reduces anxiety. We have other things on our mind. In addition, it helps us trust more fully in the God who wants to bless us.